really it's my students. Uh, on a personal level, I enjoy mentoring and coaching individuals. And many of my students come to my class, uh, not only for the lessons, but also they ask me questions around my own experience uh, with uh, business, with accounting, et cetera, which are the areas of focus that I, uh, that I teach. So really it is the students and helping them as they journey along their career aspirations uh, that drives me and inspires me as an individual. I really believe that connecting real-world learning for students within the classroom uh, creates that transformative learning experience. And how I do that is by including real-world news articles that are relevant to the materials we're covering each week within the classroom discussion. Uh, students are exposed to business concepts that directly relate to textbook learning in a way that I believe connects and prepares them better for when they leave the classroom uh, for the working world, basically. I would, sorry, okay. Um, can I just continue? Yeah, go okay. Um, I really find working with the students in this program, the continuing education uh, program, uh, very rewarding. And it's really driven by the caliber of students that come into my classroom. These are typically individuals who are a little bit more mature, they're more serious in terms of their education, where they see their career going. And I feel that I derive greater meaning working from them because uh, the lessons I give them, the knowledge I impart, um, I see them internalizing it and we engage in some really good conversation in the class that I do believe makes a difference for them. So that's the rewarding aspect to me. Uh, I would uh, provide two answers to, to this. Uh, the first is that I have learned that every person coming into my classroom has a unique background. And in many cases, they're interesting backgrounds, so it gives me an opportunity to learn about that. But the other thing that that drives is a unique learning style that each of them come with. And my job as, a, as an instructor working with these students is to really understand that unique style uh, and do my best to adapt my delivery in a way that connects with them so that they could take away something valuable uh, from what I'm teaching them. Uh, the key piece of advice I share with my learners is to keep their goals in mind as they work through our program, uh, my course, the courses they have to come. Um, by keeping that end goal in mind, I tell them that it's easier for them to focus on what their efforts are working towards in a way that if they feel frustrated uh, at how long the work is taking or the amount of work they're challenged by, that goal should still give them the drive to get through it because you know, that goal of a better life, a better job, uh, a better um, a standard of living for their family, uh, whatever that is, that's an important goal to keep in mind. I really think learners should um, take a proactive view to network, to better understand the fields that are out there that uh, they might be interested in. Uh, reaching out to people and having conversations with them. I think learners should be committed to continuous learning because the working world uh, of today is not the same from maybe 20 years ago or, or, or so. And I think uh, we have to remain flexible, agile, adaptable in our learning uh, as we go through uh, time. Whether it's with things like fintech or, or technology, you have to remain relevant. Uh, and then try new things. Don't be afraid if you fail at something or if something doesn't work out. Uh, don't get discouraged. Take it as an opportunity to learn from that and move on to something else that you might find interesting. So those would be the things I would tell my learners.